for story time. Now it's time for story We're time. We're ready for story time, everybody. Yay! Story time. Sing our song, Miss Nancy. Okay. Now it's time for now, story time. Now the more no, we get to... No, oh, no, 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 no. no, Goldie, what do you want to sing? Ah, now it's time for story time. Story time, story time. Story time. Now, now it's time, time for story time. time. Ah. Let's come and hear our stories. Now. Okay, but now. now. Okay, Goldie, ready? Ah. The, the more we, we get, get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Ah. Cause your <laughs> friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. Friends, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! Ah. Well, Goldie, I'm so glad you could help me today. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know what? What? It's autumn. It is autumn. I think we ought to have all the boys and girls stand up. Okay, let's stand up, boys and girls. Can we stand up? And we're going to pretend. Yes. So. This is the way we pick up leaves. Pick, pick up, up leaves. Pick up leaves. This, this is, is the way, way we pick, pick up, up the leaves, leaves because so they've fallen down. Yes. This is the way we throw the leaves. Throw, throw the, the leaves. leaves. Throw, throw the, the leaves. leaves. Not this, this is the way, way we, we throw, throw the leaves because they've fallen down. Yay. This is the way we jump on the leaves. Jump on the leaves. Jump on the leaves. This is the way we jump on the leaves because they've fallen down. Yay. Boy, we can sit down now. Boy, I'm hot. I Ooh, know. Really? I have a story for us today, Goldie. Yeah. And it's called The Little Old Lady <gasps> Who Wasn't Afraid of Anything. Well, I'm glad she's not, because I don't particularly like spiders. You don't like spiders? I don't like spiders. Spiders are good. They eat bugs. I don't like spiders. Okay. Well, I'll keep them away from you then. I promise. There was an old lady, the little old lady who was afraid of nothing by Linda Williams. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the forest to collect herbs and spices and nuts and seeds. She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark. There was only a silver of the moon, a little part of it shining through the night. The little old lady started to walk home. Suddenly she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes. And the shoes went clomp, clomp. <gasps> oh, no, clomp, 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 clomp. Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. On she walked down the path. But behind her, she could hear clomp, 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 clomp. clomp. A little further on, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants. And the pants went wiggle, wiggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and she walked on. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp, and one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Further still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt, and the shirt went shake, shake. Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked, a little bit faster though. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clomp, clomp. And one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. And one shirt go shake, shake. And the gloves went clap, clap. We're not that far. A little way on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves. 
get out of my way, she said to the two white gloves and the tall black hat. And the gloves went clap, clap, and the hat went nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and you tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said, and on she walked, just a little bit faster. But behind her, she could hear two shoes going clomp, clomp, one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, one shirt going shake, shake, and two gloves going clap, clap, and one hat going nod, nod. By now, the little old lady was walking at a quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin. And the head went boo! <gasps> boo! Boo! <gasps> this time the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all. She ran. But behind her, she could hear clomp, 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 two shoes, one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, one shirt go shake, shake, two gloves go clap, clap, one hat go nod, nod, and one scary pumpkin head going boo. boo. Oh, no. The little old lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could and didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with the door locked. She sat in her chair by the fire and she rocked and she rocked. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock knock on the door. <gasps> Should she answer it? Hmm. Well, she was not afraid of anything. So she went to the door and she opened it. What do you think she saw? Ooh. Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt goes shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat goes nod, nod and one scary yeah. pumpkin head going boo. <gasps> I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. What do you want anyway? Ooh, ooh, we, we've come to scare you. Um, uh, you can't scare me. <laughs> That's then, then what's to become of us, said the pumpkin head, suddenly looking very unhappy. Hmm. I have an idea, said the little old lady, and she whispered something in the pumpkin's ear. Ooh, okay. The pumpkin head <laughs> nodded, and its face seemed to brighten a little bit. The little old lady said, good night, and she closed the door and whistled her way to bed. The next morning she woke up early. She went to her window and she looked out into her garden. And what do you think she saw? <gasps> Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. One shirt goes shake, shake. Two gloves go clap, clap. One hat goes nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head goes boo, and she scared it scared all the crows away. The end. Did you like that? Do you have you ever guys ever seen a scarecrow? Yes. Yes. Does do you have one out in the country where you live? <gasps> no. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't think I like spiders too much. Spider, I know it is a bug. A, a big. Hi, Goldie. How are you? Hi, little Nancy. How are you doing? Did you see what's sitting beside you? 
No, I just came up the stairs here. Oh, okay. Well, you should probably look at what's sitting beside you. It's one of your favorite things. <laughs> Goldie? Go Goldie? Goldie, are you okay? You put that there on purpose, didn't you? No, no, I didn't. Did I put the Did I put the spider there I've on purpose, you guys? I've got my all ruffled. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Goldie. I didn't mean to do that. It was an accident. No, I won't lay any eggs. Oh well. For a long time. Okay, well, I think we have another story to read. Would you? Would you uh, this, maybe? This, I think this is a fractured fairy tale. It is a fractured fairy tale. Yes, Boy, it is. If we only had the music for a fractured fairy tale, that I would know. be perfect. And I need to find. I need to find Slurping Beauty. Do you have her? Uh, just a minute. Okay. Do you guys like Goldie? Yeah. Sometimes I try to catch her, but she runs really fast. Oh, oh, oh. Miss Nancy. Yes. Oh, here I am. Oh, thank you you're very welcome. much. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Oh, she's so beautiful. Well, we're going to read a, a, a fractured fla fairy tale based on Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. I do have a Sleeping Beauty. I know a lot You do? Yeah, well, this is Sleeping Beauty. And it's uh, called Slurping Beauty. Well, are we all ready, guys? <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a king in a faraway land. He had one daughter, a lovely young princess. He decided to throw her a feast for her 10th birthday. It was a wonderful feast, and he invited all the good fairies from surrounding woodlands. Each fairy cast a different spell on the young princess. One spell made her sweet, and another spell made her very smart, and another sp spell made her pretty, but there was one particular fairy, a wicked fairy, who had not been invited to the feast. The wicked fairy grew <laughs> angry and cast a curse on the princess. <laughs> there it seems, there it seems. Bull and Zoom, your manners will be frightful. You'll slurp up your soup. <laughs> the king was horrified. He immediately issued a proclamation to try to keep the curse against his daughter from coming true. The king, all spoons, throughout the kingdom must be destroyed at once. Citizens of the land, gather up any and all bowls. Take them to the royal dump immediately. From this point forward, soup is outlawed in my kingdom. No more clam chowder. No more chicken and stars. <sighs> hear me, hear me, my royal proclamation. There is to be no more soup. Oh, a few years later, the princess had her 16th birthday, and the king arranged a huge feast. Prince Charming, from a neighboring land, was to be the guest of honor. He was famous the world over for his fine breeding. The king had even hired a new cook specifically for the occasion. <coughs> oh, I would like to say a few words to the lovely princess. If her manners are anything like my manners, <coughs> I am sure we will get along quite splendidly. The waiters began to serve the meal. To the king's horror, they sat down bowls of soup. The king had completely forgotten to tell the new coop, cook that soup was forbidden <sighs> throughout the land. Um, I, I've never tasted such a delight before. What is this fine food? <laughs> oh, why, it's a soup, of a course. Oh no, it's soup! 
it's delicious. I've never tasted anything so delicious. Well, I never. I believe that I must be going at once. I have a previous engagement that completely slipped my mind. King, uh, thank you for a most charming evening. Your daughter is a uh, <clears throat> most interesting young lady. The king was furious that the feast had gone so badly. The wicked fairy's curse had taken hold. Slurping beauty had scared off Prince Charming with her terrible manners. Sure, Prince Charming was something of a snob, but what about the next young man who came to dinner? What if Slurping Beauty scared him off too? The king decided he would fire the new king, the new cook at once, but, but Slurping Beauty begged him not to until she had tasted every soup. She loved it. Please, Daddy, please, Daddy, don't fire the cook. Have him make more soup. I love soup. <laughs> The king could not deny his daughter, and so he began a period of slurping beauty, trying all the soups that she had missed out on on her childhood. Night after night, meal after meal, she tried different spoop, soups. Split pea, chicken noodle, beef barley, she loved them all. And she <laughs> slurped them all. The old king was terribly upset. If his daughter kept having this way, she might never find a husband. It so happened that another prince was passing through the land. The king had no choice but to invite Prince Alarming to dinner. Soup was served as usual. The king expected that it was going to be a very embarrassing evening. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 well, I would like to tell a riddle uh, to the lovely princess. Uh, what did the flower say to the bee? Huh? Oh, buzz off! <laughs> Get it? Uh, buzz off! <laughs> <laughs> the princess began to laugh, and then oh, Prince Alarming he, began oh, to laugh, and he had a goofy, high pitched oh, laugh that sounded like this. He are! He are! He are! He are! <laughs> oh, oh, uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, 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 oh lettuce. Lettuce who? Oh, 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 lettuce alone. Oh, 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 get it? Oh, 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 lettuce alone. Oh, 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 oh. oh e -har, e -har, e -har. Oh, slurping beauty laughed so hard that soup, soup came out of her nose. Ah. That made Prince Alarming laugh even harder. Eeyore, Eeyore, Eeyore. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty didn't mind Prince Alarming's goofy laugh. In fact, she thought it was cute. Prince Alarming didn't mind the way Slurping Beauty ate her soup. Oh, she has a healthy appetite. He would say, always with a hearty laugh. Eeyore, Eeyore. <laughs> <laughs> and the two rather enjoyed one another's funny habits. They fell in love and they lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> well, folks, I think now it's time to say goodbye. Yeah, it's time now it's time to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Now it's, now it's time, time to say, say goodbye. goodbye. We'll see, see you all next week. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming. Thank you for coming.